This is a Toshiba Satellite C55. But so is the other one. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. What an appropriate computer for the time of year I'm recording this. It is currently December 18th. We are a mere week away from Christmas. Santa, please stop here. Well, Santa Claus isn't stopping here right now, but you know what we are doing? We are taking apart this Toshiba. What model is it? I don't know, but it's a Satellite C55. Yep, Satellite C55. And the usual applies, you take all of the screws out of the bottom, if you've watched any of my videos, you know the first thing you do is just take all the stinking screws out of the bottom of the computer. That one felt especially loose. These computers were popular because they were cheap. These computers were probably sold in every Walmart across the United States. God knows where else. So it is more work to get in, but once you are in, all screws gone. Once you are in, oh, we might not even need to pry this one. Once you are in, you have access to everything, not just the stuff that the doors would have given you access to. And that was especially easy. Huh. That... That may be the fastest door removal I've ever done. Okay, the customer has a bad hard drive, and it looks like it's held in with this rubber... Yeah, this is just... <sighs> Look at this. This this is just a rubber thing. It It's not even, like... There's nothing remotely impressive about this. It's just an ugly rubber thing. And that's the end of it. Um, pull these handles here up and out, and the drive just comes out. That was hard. And what's this? It's a PNY 480 gigabyte solid state. <clears throat> I know you're, um, you're supposed to hate DRAM-less solid state drives, but I don't, because they are cheap. They are very cheap. And they are faster than hard drives, despite what some people say. Um, one of the tricks is to compress the files using Compact with EXE LZX. I'll make a video about that one day, but right now the bottom line is hard drive to solid state. Look at this, there's RAM. Ooh, that came up quickly. Uh, that's four gigs there. But while I'm in here, I will reseat the RAM. So much RAM. Isn't that cute? Um, there's this daughter board here. Obviously, you have your CD drive, which is very easy to slide out. But you don't have to slide it out to disassemble this machine. There's a heat sink, which I will blow out with my coronavirus-infected mouth. That is a joke. There is no dirt in that heat sink. CMOS battery processor that you can't upgrade the usual and uh, often I would redo the heat the thermal grease but this machines from like the Windows 8.1 era actually it may, no it came with Windows 10 I think I think it had Cortana stickers so it's like five years old the thermal paste should be fine I didn't see any heat issues when I tested it put your cheap garbage SSD in place and you're done uh, there doesn't appear to be any M2 slot, no M2 slot on this. There is no place to put an M2 SSD. So that'll make a few of you cry, but say to SSD and you can always buy a carrier to put here in place of the DVD whatever drive to add a second drive if you want to do that for some reason. So you do have options at least. The optical drives sort of serve a second purpose in that regard. Before I put the cover on, let's check the hinges, make sure the hinge screws are tight. Oh, that felt a little loose. Uh, that felt a little loose. Um, all these hinge screws are just the slightest bit loose. And the computer felt like it was a little bit loose. So it's good to go ahead and check the hinge screws while you're in. And that's it. Reassembly is the easiest thing ever. In fact, if you cannot figure out how to put this back together, um, I, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but reassembly ain't one.
Okay, I know that I just finished a video about a Toshiba Satellite C55, but here's the deal. This is a Toshiba Satellite C55. But so is the other one. So, here's the deal. Um, this looks a little different inside. You'll notice there's only one memory stick. The general layout is identical. Same CD drive, blah, blah, blah. Only one memory stick. The processor, the motherboard, it all looks a little bit different. Um, there's no CMOS battery. Uh, what's going on here? Well, it's an Intel chip, but I'm thinking... The other one's an i5. This looks like it's probably a Celeron, because it doesn't say what kind of chip it is, so it must be the cheap one. The hinge design is different. So, oh, the hinge design is broken. It's not just different. It's, um, it's gonna need epoxying. Oh my god, this is bad. This is, this is particularly bad. Um, this hinge is broken. So, I, I am going to have to fix this. Because I can't in good conscience send this back without a little patching job there. So, Toshiba C55's here, um, what's the other one? This is a B5319. This one is very different, in fact, it's a C. So, so this one is a C55-B series. The other one's a C55-C series. So you may see something different. This is probably a slightly older design or a slightly lower series or something. They both came with Windows 10, but the Caddy is different on the drive. It had two screws. Um, the RAM's different. There's a lot that in here that's a little different, and the hinge is broken on this one where it was not broken on the other one. The hinge design is totally different. So the C55s, you can't go just on C55. You really need to figure out if you, what model you have, where the series sort of changes. In this case, it seems because this is a B and that one is a C, that's what makes the difference. Just a little addendum, thought you might want to know. I keep saying goodbye, then taking another video. At some point, you're going to get tired of this. <clears throat> I thought it would be a good idea to show you Loctite Plastic Epoxy. You see that beautiful, beautiful tube? purple buy it on Amazon or eBay whatever sticky note fold it over sticky note and I'm also gonna crease it further down the middle because I am paranoid but you take it you mix up the epoxy like a lunatic and what do you do with it you fix the hinge mount because I'm not giving the customer back this computer with even one hinge mount broken loose like this I cannot in good conscience do that so this hinge mount's busted. Let's put this on the hole where it goes. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's pretty much it. And for good measure, we'll go ahead and put a little here on the end of it, around it. Just, you know, I don't want to break it. I don't want it to break, rather, in the future. We would really like for it to stay intact. So do what you can to rebuild this busted hinge mount and when you put it back together it just kind of pfft, there you go um, once it's back down I can actually add a little bit more to it it looks like S use the hinge itself to scrape it off don't think the other hinge has a problem though and I'm checking it right now but no it feels very secure yeah screws are loose but the mounts are secure so that's how you fix a hinge mount. Yay. Now, this is the end for real. Have a wonderful day.